What is up YouTube, it's your boy Trevgoat here bringing you another Call of Duty Blackout video today and today's another Inside the Mind of Trevgoat, three in a row now uh, with two more to go so make sure you stay tuned, um, we're going right back, oh someone took our building so we gotta revamp it. Um, usually I go to that building that guy, that guy just landed to, if you check out the other videos I land in that uh, exact same spot. Um, so what I do differently then, I go towards docks and uh, rotate around that way instead of going up towards like gas in that uh, direction, I go um, the opposite way and um, end up in the same spot, uh, just uh, try to get the kills around the map. This guy definitely had the drop on me, um, made a nice little slide and uh, got the kill there. Um, as you can see, uh, the camo is not on uh, the Spitfire yet, um, but we do end up getting that later in the gameplay. So I don't think I found any mesh mines to lay down. Um, if you've watched my last two videos, um, I always lay down the mesh mines in uh, Rivertown just because I know there's always going to be somebody traveling through. End up having the cluster ready uh, for the truck instead, um, and the end result is just the same. And just another tip here, uh, just traveling faster with uh, the grapple hook um, through water and just to get to the zone faster. This zone is actually um, a little bit farther away than usual. Um, in the last few videos, it's been right around Rivertown and I've been able to, you know, kind of camp around the zone and wait for people to come into the storm. This one, I'm kind of the guy pushing in. Um, so you just want to make sure that uh, you keep moving and, um, you know, kind of stay closer to the zone and see if there's other people um, around the zone as well. In this game, I'm actually using the Vapor as well, and I uh, never use this gun. Um, but I just uh, thought of something different, and I actually was hitting some shots pretty well with it, so I was like, ah, well, might as well give it a try. And it actually ended up doing pretty well for me, so I can't complain. So right here in this next clip, um, I was just popping some perks, getting some looting done, and I actually hear this guy behind me. I see him for a second and realize I was in a bad position. Do a little jump to the side, end up getting some good shots on him, getting the kill. I don't think that guy had thumbs, though. So this next clip here, just working my way around the circle. The circle is closing in. Um, I don't like running through that little area there just because it is so slow ground. Ended up hearing this guy uh, coming from the side, get the Spitfire out, and um, get him down without any damage. So now in this clip, I think I was hearing some shooting going down um, up this mountain, so I just kind of wanted to sneak around. I think I had Den Silence and all my perks popped, so I just wanted to... Uh, you know, get the drop on somebody if there was someone still over here, as you saw that dead body. I think I ended up spotting him and started chasing him down um, right around the circle, so I knew I didn't have to run very far anyway. And he ends up seeing another guy here, so um, I was just kind of waiting to see what was going to happen. I don't think I did a very good job of kind of checking my back, I was kind of just out in the open. All my attention was towards him, and this guy makes a bad play. He probably should have just stayed behind the tree, but he ends up running into the open. Um, not a very smart decision. I would not recommend that. Um, try to stay tree to tree when you are um, in these open areas like this. See, like that, um, I slid right to the tree, um, right to another uh, covered area. I end up getting the motion sensor popped there, um, so I was able to see him. He ends up running away, not the smartest idea. He probably should have just stayed behind that tree right there and healed, but instead he kept running, um, and I don't think that was the smart play either. You don't ever want to be like out in the open like that so people can gun you down. Um, I got some good shots into him with Vapor and uh, end up killing him. Now we're at the end of the gameplay here. Um, I saw this paladin right here, and I really wanted to take it. And as you can see, the new skin on the Spitfire right here that I got, um, I really wanted to take it because we were in this open area. But I was like, ah, I better not. And so I moved over here, popped another motion sensor, and I noticed that somebody um, goes in it right here. And I was taking a look, looking over the hill. That guy must have just laid down and thought that that was going to hide him from the motion sensor, and it did not, and I got the kill. So now there are four people left. Um, end up seeing one right here, 
and another one I think comes into my motion sensor here and or I ended up hearing him and I make a good play on him throw the concussion through the bush um, he was done for Two people left now, and I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> here. Um, I ran right into this guy's mesh mine. Um, luckily, I had another trauma kit to, to heal myself up, but my my shield was damaged pretty well, and I must not have paid attention to that. And I knew that this last guy was over here. He's in my motion sensor again, and we'll just see how this plays out. So right there, it was a very tough one-on-one uh, -on -one right there for me. Um, I did have the high ground on him, which probably saved my life. And he did have a motion sensor on me as well. Um, so it really just was kind of an even fight right there. Um, I think I maybe could have thrown something at him and gotten, you know, better position. But I had pretty good position anyway and ended up switching back to the vapor and getting the kill. Um, he did knock me down to, I think, like 10 health there. Um, luckily, I had like three trauma kits right there ready for me to use, and um, I got lucky. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, please stay tuned. I got two more of these Inside the Mind of Trap Goats coming right up. Um, so make sure you hit subscribe and push the like button if uh, you did enjoy the video today. And stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys later.